In this video, I am going to show you how to do the myofascial release for hamstring. You know, hamstring is very important for hip movement and knee movement, and it's important for pelvic movement. I'm going to show you three parts, upper part, middle part, and lower part. And let's get started. The first part is here. They, there is a bony landmark right here, which is called uh, ischial tuberosity. Imagine this is ischial tuberosity and hamstrings attach here. So I use the flat surface of elbow. I don't use pointy part. It would hurt uh, tissue. So I use flat surface. I put flat surface on the ischial tuberosity and I sink into the fascia of hamstring. You know, there is a gluteal muscles and a superficial fascia, but imagine my elbow is going deep, deep, deep. Going to strong and going to deep are different. Going to strong is just going strong, how much force I put. But going to deep is visualization or imagination that my elbow is going deep into the hamstrings. Then I find tight place and follow. Then fascia starts to react. If I exaggerate, I'm moving like this, but it's very tiny movement. Good, so that was upper part, ischial tuberosity, hamstring attached here. So my elbow was about right here, edge of the ischial tuberosity. So second part is belly of hamstring. Remember, there is a big nerve running here deep to hamstring. You have to be very careful about this nerve. This is sciatic nerve. It's running like uh, middle part of the thigh, so if you work too much on middle part, maybe the person complains pain, so you want to avoid sciatic nerve. So I feel lateral part is tight, same thing, I use flat surface on the tight place right here. Then remember, I go deep. Going too deep means you have visualization or imagination that there is hamstring, you sink into there, then fascia starts to react. Good, that was a medial part, a middle part. The last part is about here, around knee joint. Hamstring kind of split away here, like this. So let's say, medial part is tight on this person. Remember, do not work on middle part of the knee joint. There's a tibial nerve and fibular nerve splits here. And this is very uh, thin place. There's not much big muscle here. Do not compress here. So for in this, place I use the fingers to release because there's not much thickness here. This is very thin place. Remember I go deep, deep. Don't go strong. Go deep. The fascia starts to move. Good, so I showed you the three places today. Ischial tuberosity, the belly of hamstring, and distal part of hamstrings. You have to be very careful here, sciatic nerve, tibial nerve, and fibular nerve. And remember, you go deep, not going strong. So I hope this video helps the understanding of myofascial release of hamstrings. If you liked today's video, please like, comment and subscribe.